All right, greetings, beautiful people. So check this out. When you garden, okay, you have, uh, you know, you're, you're gonna grow something. You you have seeds, all right, and you have a specific seed of something that you want to grow, all right. So if you want to grow apples, you take the seed of the appropriate species to grow that apple. If you want a pear, same thing. If you want leafy greens, veggies, I mean trees, doesn't matter. See, you have the intent behind everything that you are planting, okay? Now, you, okay, are you planting it physically or are you spiritually doing that? Okay? You, 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 you do something, you plant the seed physically, and you get a physical plant to come out of the ground, right? You had an intent. You don't just take seeds and throw them and just, you know, oh, I'm going to play by chance, you know? No, you, you, you want to do things organized and, and have a specific intent behind what you do, all right? My intention is to grow morning glories on one section and, you know, grow some some apple trees on one side, grow some avocados, grow, you know, whatever it may be, okay? Some some flowers here and, you know, because I'm, I want to attract, you know, bees or I want to, uh, you know, plant some herbs with this plant because this is going to help me, uh, you know, deflect certain pests that may invade my plant or eat from the fruits that I'm trying to bear, you know? Could be a, a many reasons why, but of course... There has to be some type of knowledge to this because you would have to you'd have to know what plants to combine with what. Some plants like more acidic soil. Some plants like more alkaline soil. Some plants like full sun. Some some plants like partial sun. So you wouldn't plant anything anywhere. Okay. So you 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 bring certain things to life. Okay. With an intent, but you have to know where to put them how to put them, what season to do it. You ain't just going to plant something in the middle of winter, right? It ain't going to grow, all right? Um, same thing with, uh, you know, when you compost, you have to have a certain balance of browns, greens, your food scraps, uh, the acidity, the moisture, okay? You don't want to overwater the compost because when you overwater compost, you, you drain out or you make it too too wet. You drain out the microbes. You might drain out the the the, the worms that help break down the compost. You uh, alter the temperature. The temperature has to be just right. If it's too hot, the microbes die. If it's too cold, no good. They don't like that environment. So it has to be just right. Everything has to be just perfect. You have to have a knowledge of all this so that you can have a garden to flourish. Now, in life, for example, all right? See, we talk about the word conception okay you could talk about i have a concept there's a concept to this there's a concept to it the concept concept conception is to give birth to something women conceive a child okay but my question here is is do you you see you can plan out because the, the word conception literally means you know, you're conceiving a child, but then you also, you make a plan. Like some people accidentally have a child or some people plan a child. No, yeah, I want to have a child. But do people plan a child, all right, specifically on a certain season because they want it to be born a certain astrological sign, okay? Do they plan it out in a way where, um, you know, they they intentionally, purposely, manipulate things to either have a boy or a girl do they intentionally okay bring a certain soul or spirit into this reality because here's the thing though the woman says i gave birth to this child but look at the word conception conceive you look at the word just analyze the prefix and suffix Conceive the word con. You got con meaning deception. The the con artist you, you would look at. Because even the word con artist, we're all artists here. We're all designing, we're all selling a product, an idea, a thought, right? 
And it's up to that person to buy into it by giving you attention because the attention is what they're paying attention to. It's literally more valuable than money. I've mentioned this many times in many videos. And now how interesting is the topic, right? Is basically coming into their pain with interest. They, they, they subscribe to you or they end up, you know, following you but people look at following like oh i got a following no it's following meaning like they're just keeping up with you you know what i mean they're keeping up with your content you keep up with their content right content intent but look at the word con there's look you could get the word con in a lot of words con congress all right congress and government all right if you look at the word progress means to move forward gress means to proceed right but then congress or digress means go backwards. But what is congress, right? It's the deception, right? What you would have to really look into to really figure out and decipher. Something you put there to give you a challenge or something, right? To figure out that it's really, it's really you that did that. The funny thing is when I look at the word conceive, right? Are you... The woman giving birth to the child or is your body birthing that child for you? The body is holding that child in the womb for you. Based on your actions and decisions you made for this process to happen. Okay. Now, you made the decision, okay, for this process to happen where you have a child now, right? You have this child. The child is being... It is being uh, housed and birthed by the body the same way when you eat food you don't you don't physically do this shit you don't digest your food okay you don't digest your food the body's digesting the food for you sometimes maybe even the parasites are breaking shit down for you if you're full of shit now you can you can to some extent take over this process with breathing and stuff like that okay you can also take over the fact of what kind of spirit you bring in here by ritualizing certain things. So you're only thinking about creating physically, but do you create it metaphysically as well? Because I look at children, all right? And then when they're born, we want to control the child. But half of the times you may birth, okay? A child into, into this reality, okay? With a certain sign that may not even be compatible to yours, all right? With a certain sign that will give you challenges, all right, and or create certain personality traits or outcome. Because again, astrology is basically, you know, not I'm not you know. And here's the thing: I'm not an astro astrological expert, but when it comes to astrology, certain personality traits, certain things are all based on your astrological chart. Because you were born in a certain point in time, a certain point in space, okay? So, you will develop a certain characteristic based on the astrological chart or specific point in time that you were born in. Specific time that you were born in, okay? So, if, if we're creating in this way, all right? And we had this mentality toward pretty much all of our creation because we're creating every day we create. Every day, whether it's consciously or unconsciously, but it's all done based on the decisions and choices that you make. Okay? It will create a certain outcome. Certain thought patterns that you may have will create a certain outcome in your life. All right? So your child was a thought. You started off, they start, you physically, you started off as a thought. All right? And you, you developed a body and you became physical, all right? But if we took this a step further, you see, here's the thing. If you look at, for example, people like the elites that we want to talk about, okay? These people that, that are in power, okay? Or, you know, that, the people that we give power to. Do you notice how they maintain a specific certain bloodline? But they, I, I believe they. It also, it doesn't even just go down with that. It, it actually goes down even further than that. I believe that they actually ritualize and plan out what soul or spirit 
is going to be coming into this reality. Okay? This is this is something that I have just thought about, okay? Makes a lot of sense. And start doing things in your life and this is a suggestion is to do things with intent and have a uh, have a purpose for the things that are happening in your life and ritualize things if you want ritualize everything all right you you, you have a child and and if you bring in a child in here and unconsciously they're gonna go through the system you know and if you're at a certain state of mind or a certain state of being, you know, depending on what state of being you were in when you birthed this child, this is what you're creating. Um, and also, you're bringing this child into a system to go through vaccines, to go through the education system, to go through all these things. If you don't have the proper means to to do this, then why even bring another child in here? Or why bring a child into this system? Okay? So, it's also something that is, is a huge responsibility. Look at the word response, right? There's certain things that are are, are in your reality that because everything you would have to respond to. Because if not, then you're playing a victim mentality. When you're a victim, that's what you get more of. More lack when you think lack. Okay? See, here's the thing. You got to be responsible with energies here and if you because you think this is not the actual this is a false reality okay doesn't mean that you have to you know go about it irresponsibly here that's just lack of response on your end and you you must be responsible for the energies that you put out and what impact or effects you you are for your world your reality that you're in okay be the change you want to see and it starts from you when you change you'll be surprised how everybody else outside of you will change including your children rather than trying to control things so much rather than trying to control uh you know things in your reality start to change your mind your mindset mindset Right, we use the set, setting, time set, mindset, and then you get upset. Use set. We talk about Satan set. I mean, everything really is a tool for you to use, and not to, not to criticize or demonize anything, because you're only coming down hard on yourself. So, I think this is all I wanted to cover here, and um, like, share, and subscribe. We'll talk soon.